that's a, a very good way of um, you know keeping track of, of how you're playing and kind of the success you're able to have in a year. You know, obviously like the record goes into it and, and also your numbers too. So I mean, obviously it's a team game and I, and I can't perform without the team playing well. And that's you know that's a fact. So. Um, you know, anything anything that my numbers say, that, that's a lot of credit to the team, too. You said you want to make the most out of the opportunities you're giving. You didn't know how many starts you would make or even when they would come, but how do you feel you've done in those opportunities that you've been given so far? Absolutely. You know, as the backup, that's my job, just to show up when I get the chance. And, you know, I think so far that I've given the team a chance to win when I've played, and I'm, I take pride in that, and I'm happy with my performance so far and uh, you know no matter how many starts I get this year I hope that uh, that trend continues. Is it different when you get a couple in a row or two or three in a row? I mean is it different for you rather than, than not knowing when you might make, make a next start kind of thing? Yeah I think you you gain confidence as you build on on you know your past starts and uh, as, if they're kind of close together it's a little bit easier to gain that confidence gain a little bit of traction and um, you know, feel a little bit better about your game than if you're playing two, three weeks apart. Um, that's kind of a challenge to uh, maintain that confidence. So, yeah. Are you the type of guy when you're playing well that things slow down? I don't know. The Definitely. Looks bigger. Like visually, what do you see? Yeah, I can't speak for other guys. You know, if that if that happens to every goalie, I'm not sure. But um, for me, it definitely feels that way. I, uh, I kind of feel more relaxed out there. Um, simplify my game a little bit, and you know, like you said, everything just looks a tad slower. The broadcasters brought out the beach ball comment the other night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not that there's, slow. There's a little bit of truth to it for sure. <laughs> have you gotten past, or, or when did you get past, or have you yet? Like the, you know, first, you know, kind of a good story. You just get in the league, you get in the game, you get with, and then, and then you're there, you're on the team for a while, and then, then you win a permanent draw for the season, and now you're you're playing, you know, number three in the league. Are you still like, holy cow, I can't believe I'm, I'm here? Or is it, did you get past that at some point now and you'd still? Yeah, definitely past that. <laughs> um, you know, I think, I think I get past it a little bit quicker than everybody else because, um, you know, I know the skills that I have and, and I have confidence in my game. So even, you know, in the East Coast League and then in the AHL, you know, when I wasn't playing, I knew that I could play. And um, kind of every level I've, I've bumped up, I've kind of maintained that confidence. So I kind of got over that little period of, you know, wow. Uh, just maybe a little bit faster. Clearly been around the block. He's won two cups. He's got a lot under his belt. So um, working with him every day and obviously working with Buck, too. It goes a long way, uh, you know, being surrounded by guys who have been through it and, you know, who have gone the whole way and succeeded. So, uh, you know, just trying to build off that.